Okay. Could you see my slide? Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, hello, I am Bayu. I'm a member of Kimscape ID community, and today I'm going to talk a little about uh, my experience contributing to open source community with graphic design. Uh, this is a bit about me. I'm a member of Kimscape ID since 2016 until now. Then after that, I joined the art team of Blank on Linux. And then I also work as creative team at Poor Technology and also a graphic designer at Z Studio. You can contact me via email or Facebook and Telegram. If you have difficulties to remember my voice, then feel free to say it on public chat so that I could understand if you can't hear my voice. Okay, this is where I join the Gimscape Ideas One community, the largest community with open source graphic design software. You could check the Instagram and the website here. And the next one is uh, Blank on Linux is one of uh, Linux distribution in Indonesia. And the latest uh, release called uh, Verbeek is still under development. Uh, you could also check the Instagram or the Twitter of us. And the next one is, uh, this is where the, the company I'm working. The company use open source technology for, for cloud and else. And this one is also part of the, the company, the Adinusa is a platform for everyone to learn about uh, Linux, I mean system, Linux system administration and also the cloud technology. Then the last but not least is uh, Zek Studio. It's, it's, it's founded by uh, Inkscaper and Kim user and mostly open source graphic design and software user. And then we make this uh, studio to do, uh, to have uh, a graphic design and uh, video uh, editing. Okay, we'll begin with the title. I write there, don't judge a book by its cover. Well, this this saying is sometimes true, but sometimes not. And I should add the question mark here. So the title should be, don't judge a book by its cover. And if we try to look at our daily life, our daily activity, we usually judge on social media for now. We will be more uh, we will more interact with someone or someone no it's not someone the, the, the public for both the event with a good publication with a good design than not. We will more interested with uh, good printing, uh, uh, printed media, poster, and some poster with uh, bad visual 
will be less we will less choose it even for daily life like like a wedding event we usually choose um, some someone handsome or beautiful for for the master of ceremony so basically we prefer the visual thing we prefer to to judge by by the cover so what i'm going to say is we simply do judge a book by its cover and and i'm sure uh, all of you are agree with 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 this maybe some of you disagree with this so to narrow it down i'll make it on something visual maybe this this saying or this phrase is good i mean is logical for something like uh, personal relationship interpersonal something like what you social what we socially do that's right because in social we should not judge by the cover but in visual term in visual world we do judge we prefer something visually good we, we prefer something visually nice and interesting that's that's it that's what i mean with with the title that's why just the title because we usually judge on something visual and here i'm going to talk about my experience with i think maybe it's still new compared to you guys but i'm just going to share it and i hope i, hope I could uh, inspire even just a little Here's how I met with open source. Uh, before the open source, my hobby is drawing. I learned about drawing. And then when I was uh, junior high school, I learned vector graphics software. That's proprietary. So, and that's, and that's not, I don't get that legally, so I won't mention it. I won't mention the software. That's around when I was uh, junior high school. And then uh, when I entered college, I started using Inkscape and Kim in 2010. Well, the, the first moment is I want to use the legal one so that I could collect money to buy the proprietary, the legal proprietary. That's my first reason. But then I found that the the open source is is good enough, is great for my need, and it turns out I don't I don't need to buy the proprietary one. And that's when I know that there is a Facebook group for uh, Inkscape user in Indonesia and also an in international. I joined them. I joined the group in 2013, and that's my my happy moment because I before I don't know about it. I don't know about the the group, so I'm very glad to find those two group. So I could share my 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 work, my design, my illustration there. And then, in 2016, I participated for the first time at open source offline event at uh, State Islamic uh, University Sunan Kalijaga. That's my first time to really meet uh, in person with 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 uh, contributors and com uh, in open source community in Indonesia. And after that, I joined the Blank on, Linux, Blank on Linux as the art team. Well, I can't code. I don't know anything about uh, how to build operating system. So what I could do is just only drawing. And I'm glad that I could uh, join the art team. And two years after that, 
uh, join for technology as I've mentioned before uh, for technologies uh, use uh, uses open source technology too and they prefer uh, someone with uh, open source graphic design knowledge as, as their creative team and also I joined the Z studio with my friend here this is what I would have made the wallpaper and some t-shirt design for Blankon Uluwatu the previous release the current release is very big as the 12th release and I haven't uh, made the the I mean the the, ori the the official hasn't been uh, published because they are still in under development and the next one is uh, this one is me trying to draw something in LibreOffice draw sometimes I do something like this to as a refreshment because uh, sometimes using escape too much or game too much is a bit boring so I'm trying to draw something different and you may also notice that I use Ubuntu Studio here and Ubuntu Studio is uh, one of the best operating system for me because it's the good it's, it's in, when when I install it it pre-installed with other uh, multimedia and graphic design software so that's good for a lazy person like me okay then what should you do to contribute it's uh, especially for someone who still uh, curious and want to contribute this is what you could do at least you have to join the community and I suggest you to join the community as soon as possible because you don't know if the if the community will give you something positive in the future so just try to join and then learn something new you just don't be stuck with with your current knowledge or current skill just try to learn something new because by doing so maybe you'll find that you are uh, talented or maybe you could do something more with with your with what you've learned and then try to share your works just be confident if it about uh, graphic design or illustration just try to share it we i mean in, in kingscape community uh, usually share our work in in the group in telegram group the telegram group is uh, very active just share it and maybe if you need some input some comment some suggestions and then you could share and you just ask to them they are very uh, nice members to give you uh, input and then try to join as contributor you could just ask uh, it's, it's similar to how I join as uh, our team in Blancon Linux. I say, I talk to them that, that I, I don't know how to code, I don't know how to uh, develop uh, operating system, but all I could do is drawing. So they, they accept me as uh, our team, as an uh, illustrator and doing some uh, graphic design stuff and then uh, if you want to contribute with graphic design learn at least Inkscape and Kim it's, it's like the most used software in graphic design and open source uh, mostly you need to learn Inkscape and Kim is for additional for sometimes you need to to retouch to tune the, the colors and to cut or to crop 
uh, you need Kim for that. And then uh, you need to you could learn 3D graphic design. I suggest you if if you haven't learned so much, maybe you need to learn 3D graphic design because it's popular for now, and the animation uh, with uh, 3D graphic design uh, are good too with with Blender. And then uh, if you want to do more on video you could learn the audacity for the audio editing and also learn uh, about video editing i usually use open shot but uh, because it's simplicity but uh, it's also good if you want to learn something uh, with more uh, complex and custom uh, customized uh, editing like shortcut or KTN live but also you need to learn the basic principles not just the softwares we, are, we sometimes know that uh, sometimes we see that uh, people have a good knowledge on software but they don't know the principle of of the art or, or the graphic design so the design is just not really good or just too too simple and not interesting so you need at least to learn the basic principles or at least try to imitate try to know the basic principle by learning from from the experts and by imitating from their works Uh, I think that's all I want to say. Thank you for uh, everyone here. If you want to discuss or uh, share your thought, then feel free to say it or use the public chat. Okay, thank you, Mr. Bayu, for the uh, inspirational inspiration uh, talks. Uh, because you know that uh, the design a uh, creative person need need uh, good taste to design, so it could uh, uh, give us the eye catchy or uh, something you want to say, and we 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 get that in the design. Yes. Okay, uh, it looks like uh, everyone uh, has no question in chat box. Maybe you can talk to others in chat. And thank you for the presentation, Mr. Bayu Aji, and see you in the next event. Okay, thank you, everyone.